only me. Right. Um, first thing, apology. I got very, very ranty on that that video, uh, and that video is coming down. Um, Ads call, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's the wrong way to handle it. Uh, I've looked at a lot of YouTube videos about the subject. Um, and I think my feelings on it are, are pretty well known now. So the video is going to go. Uh, suffice to say, uh, I do blow off steam. And being quite a new koi tuber, um, I think after seeing that, um, it really got to me how someone could be so vindictive, whoever that person is. But having looked at a lot of other people's videos, um, Vince at Twisted Koi, It's What I Do, uh, various other people, um, I handled it the wrong way. I've basically done exactly what shouldn't be happening to these people and giving them attention. I've been pouring, I poured petrol on the fire. So I'm going to take that petrol away. And I'm going to try and keep my lip buttoned on those sorts of subjects and try and keep it to myself. What I am going to focus on is the good people. Uh, the people I chat to off of here and have real interactions with, like Vince, like Gary, um, Pond and Garden, um, Jill and John, Wayside Koya, chat to every now and again, uh, Koyagi Gavin, uh, I speak to him every now and then. Um, uh, Darren Whitehead. Um, uh, the Bowling Reefer, obviously. Um, you'll notice I mention him quite a lot. We have quite a few conversations. Good old Jack. Uh, Gaz at Gazzy's Koi Pond. Yeah, there's there's a few. There's a few people I've I've met and, and I chat to. And they are going to be the focus. My other focus is going to be KWPR's Community Pond. I think that is going to be a fantastic thing. Um, I think it's going to really pull the real people in the community together. And I think that's where we should be focusing on. On pulling the community together and not ripping it apart. So anyone who's getting these nasty, malicious messages... Let's treat these nasty, malicious people like Russia. Let's cut them off. Let's not allow them to prosper. Let's not allow them to uh, grow their economy by giving them fuel. Let's cut them off from the community and stamp them out. The only way we can do that is to share the information of who they are. Now, I had a rant. I don't even know who I was ranting at. I was ranting because someone I liked through their videos had been affected so badly that they didn't want to do their videos anymore. And that would spoil my enjoyment. So it was a purely selfish rant. But I think excommunication is the only way forward. And the only way we can excommunicate these people is to share who they are. Whether that be privately in messages, which I think is the best way, with backup information, so screenshots, whatnot, whatever. Um, I don't think publicly naming and shaming is ever a good idea because you will enter into a war of their friends versus your friends. But certainly sharing the information is paramount to stopping these people. And 
stopping giving them the fuel uh, to do it to other people. So that's my thought. And as I said, I'm going to try and say no more on the subject of Coitube or Facebook bullies. So that's that. On a positive note, checking the pond today. I have about three or four fry in there from last year, obviously, who have survived. Excuse me. That's the ridiculous Rottweiler. Ronnie, what are you doing in here? Out. See, incredibly obedient. Um, yeah, as I said, I've got uh, three fry, three or four fry, koi fry. Uh, there's plenty of other other fry in there um, that have survived from last year, totally naturally. Um, no spawning nets, no special food, no heating, no anything. And uh, the only assumption I can make is that they are fry from what were my dad's koi, uh, who most of them died last year, as a lot of you will know. Um, we have no idea why. Um, some of them were getting on a bit. Some of them were 30 years plus. So um, I think the life, uh, the, the sort of life expectancy of a pond koi is 30 to 40 years anyway. So they, they were all bought at around the same time, around the same sort of size. And um, all of a sudden they just started dropping like flies last year, which is what got me back heavily into uh, ponds uh, and looking into what had changed in the last 25 years. You'd be surprised how much it's changed. A lot. So, in a funny sort of way, my dad's fish live on. So, I'm just hoping that they uh, they continue to survive and, and flourish in the pond this year. And uh, we'll see if they grow on a little bit. I'm not going to do anything special with them. Um, nature will take its course. Um, the only thing I am doing is mixing in some some small pellet food. So they've got something they can get their mouth around, but they've got plenty to, to feed on in the pond anyway. Um, there's so much vegetation and stuff in there that they will uh, thrive on that anyway. And all the natural little worms and bugs and things. Um, my pond in the summer is a hive of activity. Um, so, yeah, that's a, a nice little positive to look forward to this year. See how they grow on. And how they um, how they how they develop um, to appear to be uh, high shisui, uh, not high shisui, What we're talking about <laughs> poet sorry. and one appears to be a um, either a, a beko or a shirotsuri. So we'll see what happens with them. I might even put a, a couple of photos on the end of this video, um, just showing them. And then we can see where they go this season. So a little bit less ranty McRant face, a little more positive. And if you see me going off on one in the future, on a video, give me a kick and a reminder. Say, oi, take your ranty head off. Although the ranty head is probably one of my fastest growing videos. Um, fastest growing for the wrong reasons. So that will disappear. Thank you to the rest of the guys that have put videos up about this issue and for showing me the light shall we say, um, especially you ads, because 
uh, you actually specifically mentioned the video and um, yeah I think you're right I, I think I think I was wrong to put that video up uh, so that will be rectified so uh, here is I Mr Skeggy Pond at whatever time it is late at night listening to the water flowing in the pond chilling out onwards and upwards oh and by the way 75 subscribers already wow um things are going I I a lot quicker than i thought <coughs> so potentially in a week or two there'll be another giveaway i already know what that giveaway is going to be something that everyone will find quite useful over the coming season um, and hopefully one of you lucky so-and-sos will win it but that will be at 100 subscribers so when it gets about 90 i'll show you what it is and we'll talk about it uh, a bit more and um yeah yeah, we'll see if we can get to 100. I know, it's only small compared to a lot of your channels, but 100 to me would be um, crazy in a couple of months. Um, oh, one of the kids' toys just went off. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, there it goes again. Um, yeah, that'd be crazy for me in a couple of months. Um... I never expected to sit here and waffle and have people listen to it. Um, but yeah, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few product reviews as well. Um, and things, what I hope to do is try and dispel some myths as well. Um, some things that are put out there to spend your money for you. Um, there are people out there that, that, that start these things up without researching properly and without looking into it in great depth they just take what people say is possible and I want to try and knock a couple of those on the head um, and try and save people a few pennies here and there, especially for the budget pond keeping guys, I mean there are people out there that don't worry about spending 10, 20 thousand pounds on a koi, this channel probably not for them, uh, for those that worry about spending 15 quid on a new V-bolt, um, this might be more their kind of channel. Um, just some little bits and pieces. There, there won't be masses and masses and masses of cheats and tricks and whatever. Um, Vince at Twisted Toys is far better than that one. Uh, the amount I've learned off Vince's channel is ridiculous. Just little little hacks. You sit there and think, I never thought of that, that's brilliant. So, uh, if you're not on Vince's channel, firstly, what rock have you been hiding under? Secondly, go and search for Twisted Coin and subscribe because you'll learn, I guarantee you'll learn something. Yeah, I guarantee it. No two ways about it. So, anyway, I'm going to go. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm uh, packing up the smoking. My cough is horrendous at the moment. Get in there slowly, down to a third, uh, two thirds of what I was. So slowly chipping away at it uh i'm going to go and see what uh mad old mr putin's been up to and see how the the ukrainians are, are holding up um and i think that's the way we ought to deal with the bullies is uh the day the way we're dealing with russia at the moment it's just to annex them just just excommunicate them cut them off starve them of the oxygen they crave which is attention
night guys